Hey guys, thanks for joining in and welcome to Code Box. In this short tutorial, we will walk through the ways to hide the JavaScript source code. If you want to follow along, more resources are available on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. Method 1. Code Obfuscation. In simple terms, making the code impossible to read for humans. There are plenty of free online obfuscation tools. Just do a search for JavaScript obfuscation and choose any one. Copy your code and paste into the online tool. Then, replace your clear source code with the obfuscated code. The JavaScript will still run, but it is now impossible to read at a glance. Method 2. Disabling the right click. In most browsers, the user can right click and choose to view the source code. Let us make it difficult to access the source code by disabling the right click. In the JavaScript, listen to the context menu event. Then, prevent the default action to open the context menu. Right clicks will not open the context menu now. Method 3. Disabling the shortcut keys. Apart from the context menu, the source code can also be accessed from the shortcut keys. Commonly control U. And also F12 to open the developer's console. To prevent the shortcut keys, listen to the key down event. If the key presses Ctrl or F12, prevent the default action. This will now stop the shortcut keys from working. That covers the common protection mechanics, but please take note that these methods are not foolproof. The user can still access the browser's menu and view the source code. Open the developer's console and access the source code or even save the entire page and still has access to the source code. It is impossible to disable the browser menu with JavaScript. It is also impossible to fully hide the source code since JavaScript is client-side in the first place. The so-called protection mechanics is only a minor inconvenience for the people who know. You should be looking at server-side solutions and improving the overall security of the system. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.